Hey YouTube, this is uh, Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the schemes and uh, uh, plays I put together on my channel. I, I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, I want to talk about uh, my experience in playing with Madden. I've been playing Madden for decades now. I'm an old dog that's been playing this game, and I try to relay on creating schemes um, and concepts, passing concepts, over the standard money plays. Uh, so I'm going to show you six different passing concepts that I've been using for years. And when I say years, years, to successfully move the ball uh, uh, down, the, down the field against my opponent. And you can plug into these right now with any, univ any Madden version. Uh, these are universal concepts that you can use. And this is like, a, think of this as a Tetris piece where you can essentially go ahead and include these different concepts uh, to help you uh, effectively just annoy your opponent and have an effect offense so I'm going to show you six of the top things uh, that I like to use and one of the first things is using a slants play but actually using a slant streak concept so let me show this to you and basically at how it is is just a simple one play read so basically with a streak uh, slant concept all I'm really doing is I'm just gonna go and streak up the inside uh, wide receiver inside of a slant now you can do it on the opposite side uh, but uh, I want to focus. Usually, I like to focus this concept because it's just going to be a one, it's going to be a one defender read, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my progression somewhere else. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look underneath uh, the zone, um, the zone that is going to get cleared out by Johnson. You can see that uh, Evans is going to be going underneath that zone, and all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and throw underneath that. So I'm just watching this guy. I'm watching a defender over the top of him and see what this defender does. And if the defender actually comes down and blitzes, putting this guy in an island uh, on top of it, uh, basically I'm going to throw underneath that uh, underneath that, uh, that slant for an easy completion. And a lot of times what's going to happen with this to get a play, I can pick up a good 10 yards or 15 yards uh, with this route at the worst case scenario about 7. So this is a nice thing to have in your back pocket. Now sometimes what happens is because you have the streak, you might have a hard flats underneath it. And it's going to basically put this streak route that will be actually be an area that you can hit again. Now another read too is that you want to see if this guy's playing hard flats or playing underneath coverage. If he is, a lot of times this this uh, this streak is this slant is going to be basically uh, covered up by the zone areas, and you don't want to throw into that where you can get picked off. But look what it does on the t on the back side of that. Uh, uh, over the top of it, it actually gives you a passing lane where you can hit your opponent for a big streak down the middle of the passing lane. So nice little inside pass lead to get away from the uh, the deep third, and you can get yourself a good 20 20 yard completion. So if he's playing underneath coverage, you just throw over the top of it. Uh, if he's if you're playing over the top coverage, you're just going to throw the streak uh, the slant route underneath the streak. Now the next passing concept I like to use is smash. Um, in particular, when it comes to smash, I like to have a smash where it's it's more of an angle and it's not like a, a, a zone smash. So I like to use a smash route uh, like the gun empty tray flex. So it's really simple to run and once again it's going to be a simple read. I like to go ahead and take the outside receiver instead of his, his hitch route which usually gets in depth. I want to give myself a faster read. So typically what I'll do is I'll put this person on a smoke route or maybe a whip if I want to get him to the sideline, but for the most part, I like to do a smoke. And it's it's a high-low read, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the defender over Miller and make my read on whether I'm going to throw high or throw underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch this, this defender right here. I'm going to watch how he reacts to the smoke route. And if the defender peels up, my next read is going to be the defender that's going to be playing uh, the the, the uh, corner route on the back side. So, uh, is, see how he comes down in a hard flat? I know that this route, because of the way the zones are developed, this corner route will be wide open, and I'm just going to do an outside pass lead, uh, either go ahead and, and rack it or uh, basically possession catch it. Now, since this essentially uh, is press coverage, it's most likely press man coverage. But if you can see... This, this corner route uh, will be wide open because of its, its man coverage. So once again, my primary read is going to be this guy right here. I'm going to watch what happens with the smoke route. If he comes down and plays it, and I've got good positioning with my wide receiver, uh, I basically just, once he makes his break, I'm going to throw it towards the sideline, and I'm going to pick up a good 25 yards or so. So same type of a situation. 
and you can see how you can go ahead and just get the underneath rod and actually pick up some easy yards. Smoke the guy up. Now you see how he actually, he falls underneath it, he falls up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that passing lane. So that's what I like about this is it's a very simple read. Uh, it's easy coverage for me to cover. And you know, obviously if a defender clears out the zone, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that for an easy completion. So the next concept we're gonna be looking at is gonna be a curl flat concept. And what's really great about this concept is that you can you can essentially build this into any concept, uh, any playbook that you want to. Now this is a pretty simple, straightforward concept, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch what happens to the defender uh, and see if they float up uh, and we'll check it down to the flat. So all I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna watch these two wide receivers here, but in particular I'm gonna watch this, this, this wide receiver over this defender and see what happens. Now, if they float up, and this guy floats up into kind of a passing lane, I'm just gonna check it down to this flat right here and then go and rack it up for some pretty easy yards. Uh, if, the, if this defender actually comes down and bites to this route, I'm usually gonna get inside positioning to throw this, this curl route. So you can see right here, see how the inside positioning is going on? Just an easy completion. So we're watching the, the combination of these two guys right here, but see how this guy, this guy comes down and takes the flat? That means that he's gonna go ahead and push the defender and then flip his back and get an easy completion. And I'm gonna pick up some easy yards right there. A 12 yard completion, almost 15. Now, another thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and either curl up or streak up a third wide receiver on the curl flat side. And that actually just gives me another area that I can use against my opponent. So if he starts flooding his, flooding his side, if he starts flooding the sideline with, say, a hard flat and then maybe some kind of a, a zone drop uh, a flat out here to take away these two routes, if I've got a third wide receiver, I can put him on a streak and actually expose the seam and pick up some pretty easy yards. But this is a nice concept that you can use with either two or three wide receivers and pick up some, uh, pick some, pick up some easy yards. Here's another easy concept that you can use. It's great against beating man coverages and zone coverages, and it's the pivot uh, concept. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the underneath route with, with, with uh, Gronkowski and determine if we're gonna throw the ball um, to the sideline or over the top. Now against man coverages, the pivot route typically will get really good separation and it's gonna be an easy completion and sometimes you can rack that for some pretty good yards. So you can see right here, you can hit your opponent over the top uh, if the defenders clear out the middle zone. So what I'm looking for is this guy right here. I'm just seeing if I can get man coverage. And if a defender, whether it's this guy or the guy from the line or some uh, or something like this, comes out to the sideline, that means it's going to be some type of cloud coverage. As you can see, he's going to carry and take away that whip. But typically when there's a defender that's actually um, on the sideline and, and a cloud coverage, that means that uh, that dig route over the top of it will be wide open, and there's really not going to be anybody in that, in that territory. So you can throw that and get a big completion and turn it up for some pretty big yards. Now another concept I like to run is a smash concept, but it's actually having three wide receivers um, off to one side, one that clears out, uh, the other one that actually hits the corner route, and then the final one, which is gonna be an underneath drag. So uh, typically what it is, is I'm gonna go ahead and, and do an in route or a drag route, and that's gonna be my first read, because the other two routes, the one by, by Gronkowski, uh, and also by Johnson, they're basically clearing the zones out over the top, giving me an easy check down underneath where I can get an easy completion. But what's cool about this to get a play in this concept is that it actually gives you a fairly easy read if you can hit someone over the top. So let's go ahead and see if we get that. So we got a dragger right here, and this is gonna basically give you a chance to go ahead and hit your opponent on the sideline. So all I'm really doing is I'm just making one read, one defender, seeing what, how he reacts. And if the defender follows, that means that this corner route typically is an, an island by himself. And once he breaks to the outside, I'll throw that ball to the sideline. Another thing too is I've got this streaking tight end over the middle if he puts some type of cloud coverage and hard coverage out there. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they're gonna put a cloud out here and uh, basically try to bait you into throwing the corner, but what with this particular concept, you could still throw underneath, but also you're gonna have this third wide receiver on the inside that's actually gonna clear out the zone and give you an easy completion right down the middle of the seam. So this forces your opponent to defend underneath, defend the corner, uh, and then also go ahead and defend 
uh, the seam route with this concept. And this is something I've been using for years. It's really, it's, it's like a money concept that I use on third down situations where I need to pick up a first down. Now the last passing concept is a concept that I really don't see a lot of people use, but I still have been using in my scheme. Uh, even today I use it in my scheme, but it is a scheme that um, is very effective and gives you actually easy reads. And it's a combination of two different passing concepts. It's the dagger concept with a comeback. So let me show you how this works and usually the best plays to select this or use, use as a base play is gonna be the dagger. So basically with this particular concept, um, I, I want to go ahead and take the dig route by Evans and put him on a deep comeback route. And my first read is going to be Johnson. I'm going to go ahead and look to Johnson. And if the defender lets him go past and I've got basically a seam uh, down the middle of the field that I can throw, I'll throw that. My next read is going to be the drag and then obviously the deep comeback route if the defenders come down and play the drag route. So I'm going to watch a seam first, then I'll watch the deep, the the, uh, the drag route, and then if, if I got man-man coverage, I'm going to look to the deep comeback route as my final read. So this is how I read this. I'm watching a defender over the top, and you can see if he carries, that means I've got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Now, obviously, if my slot receiver is really, really fast and he's got a, a, a speed differential, I can take a potential shot off the middle of the field against my opponent. But I, I like to do the high percentage passes, so if there's a defender that follows and this guy comes down and gets in the passing lane, I'm going to make my next progression. So my next progression is going to be basically this, this route right here, the drag. Drags typically beat man coverage, and you can see how this guy comes down and plays that. That means that's taken away. But I have this deep comeback route actually taking this uh, this defender up top and because it's a comeback route and, the, and this is a good timing pass I know I once he breaks I can throw that ball and get an easy completion so two quick adjustments watch the seam no one comes down I'm gonna go and check it down and pick up a good uh, 10 yard gainer with an easy completion with the with the flat so once again I'm watching this guy see how he actually he follows and carries over the top then I'm going to immediately look to this guy right here, and if nobody comes down to it, I'm going to go ahead and complete it and turn it up and try to rack it for a first down. Uh, my next progression is going to be obviously this route right here. If defenders come down and bite, that deep comeback route usually would be clear for an easy completion. So I'm going to watch the seam, and sometimes you can get that big completion uh, over the middle if the defenders don't follow it uh, and go after that guy. So that's one of the reasons why I still take a peek at the seam and if I just, I've, you know, you, you pretty much in this type of situation, you can see how this guy kind of plays hard. This guy peels off and plays hard. And that seam route is wide open for easy completion. I also had the deep comeback route too. So uh, that's why I peek at the seam route. The seam route is more of a clear out route than anything else. And sometimes if you catch him trying to put a, a buzz, you can get yourself a huge completion too. And sometimes a one play touchdown. So guys, these are passing concepts that, that I've been using successfully, six different types of passing concepts. And you can take these concepts and interchange them with each other. So a lot of times what, uh, what I'll do is I'll use a, a dagger a con dagger comeback concept on one side of the field and maybe a slant a slant streak a concept on the other or a curl flat concept. And it, it, it has been something I've been doing for years to effectively move the ball down the field. I know that when, I got, when a new game drops, I, can, I know I can jump into the game right away and have an efficient offense as, long, as soon as I get my timing down with, with, with my passing concepts because I've got these concepts mastered that I've been using for years and I know how to, uh, to read them correctly. So guys, if you like more tips like this, go ahead and hit the like button and also let me know um, some of the favorite passing concepts that you guys like to use online. So once again, thank you for support, guys. Until next time.